of people. Guess I'm gonna go over all the time, my hooks, weights, swivels, and all that good stuff for my bank uh, rods. So stay tuned. So this right here is all you need. Uh, I'll go ahead and get me about four foot of leader and cut it. And there goes. I'll stick that in the eye of the hook this way and come out. Hold it back there and go around seven times. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Then I'll take it and come back on the opposite side that I ran the line through the last time. And then right there's a knotless knot for your hook. I usually don't have any issues with hook sets or anything like that. And here's the hooks I use. They're uh, pretty dang sharp. You'll get them in your hand if you ain't careful. And then I usually use one of these peg floats and a three inch of these. The real key is to make sure it floats your bait off the bottom. And I usually do it about hand length away from the hook. Take it and stick it on there like that. And so we got that far. That right there will keep the bait up off the bottom so you don't get snagged and all that good stuff. And I usually try to keep it about three foot off the bottom because I don't know, them big fish don't seem to just swoop down and grab it. And then use a 110 pound three-way swivel you can buy these just about anywhere i don't really have a particular brand i buy but i'll run it through and i don't know give it about eight inches and i don't know i hold my fingers right there and wrap it around about seven times So, right there created this hole, then I'm going to run this through that hole, and then we created another hole right here, and I'm going to bring it through there like that, and then right here I want to want to wet the line so there isn't any friction, and I'll pull it down some, where some people will tighten it before, and uh, You just want to bring it down with your finger and pull tight on this end and this end. It'll eventually come out like that. And uh, use that 60 pound Berkeley Big Game or the Whisker Seekers Leader Line. Or there's a few companies that make Leader Line, but it's just what I had on handy. On handy. On hand. <laughs> this right here. You got your leader attached to this uh so you got your leader attached to the 110 pound swivel and you got about it's about three foot long now you got your eight dot mustad demon circle hook about six inches from your peg float and like i say whenever you oh shoot Whenever your weights on, you connect your weight to this with a little, see so you connect your main line right here. And I got a little swivel with a, this is a six ounce disc sinker, but your main line goes here, that hook to a swivel. And then this is your leader line. And like I say, it'll be held up off the bottom by the cork and your bait won't be hanging on the bottom and it'll be right in front of the fish's mouth <coughs> but if you uh, don't want to 
use that method. I'll show you another one. So I got about three and a half foot of leader line, four foot. I'll show you again on this one. Take it and run it through that way. Through the side that the point's on. Wrap it around seven times. You can wrap it more if you want. It's just what I tend to do. And then take the end of your line, stick it through the top of the hook right there on the opposite side that you just come through. Then you just pull it through. I mean, you can snip off a little bit of this. I'm gonna leave a quarter of an eighth of an inch. And you're not gonna pull that off. If you break that, something's wrong. And then, take our peg float and uh, you, can, you can use the tape measure, six, seven inches. That's more like it. So you got that about six inches off. Then you can use a just a regular swivel, not a three-way. It's rated for about 110 pounds too, and then I'm gonna take about six, eight inches of line up here, wrap it around seven or eight times. They call this a fisherman's knot, or at least I do. And then, so you got a hole down here at the swivel Take your end piece, stick it through there. If I can do it, then that hole that you just created from sticking it in the other one, I usually grab it and pull tight, pull tight on it. And I usually wet the lawn with my mouth right there, so friction like doesn't weaken the lawn, but you can see when you pull on it. It clenches up and tightens up and here's your fisherman's knot and leave a, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. And there's you a leader. Say this is your main line. I'll stick my no roll weight on there, so slider weight. And uh We'll grab one of these beads, it's a knot protector, and slot it on there. Then we'll stick it through. Give you about six, eight inches. And turn about seven doms. Stick it in the hole you just created down there in the swivel. Then Come back through the hole you just created and pull it tight. Like I say, I usually wet this right here with my mouth so friction doesn't weaken the line and pull it tight. And there you go. We'll snip the end off. And so have a slider weight and that'll sit on the bottom like that and then your leader line will come up with your peg float to keep your bait off the bottom and there's one more rig I use for bank fishing I'll show you here's the three way uh, for this I use about 15 pound line I'm just using what I have on hand right now so I'll make my fisherman's knot right here. Then I'll gr grab my, uh, then I'll grab my six inch disc right here, or three, whatever weight you wanna use. I just have this on hand and uh, I'll give this about six inches to a foot from my swivel. So, 
Yeah, about, oh, it's about seven inches, seven inches. Usually I try to get six to 12 inches, but so that your weight will be hooked to it instead of being hooked to the swivel like directly. And if you're fishing somewhere where you may get hung up or you lose a lot of weights because there's a lot of dirt and mud and rocks getting washed over your weight and it hangs you up. I usually use this and uh, it basically is a suicide rig. So the only thing you lose when you're trying to get it unhung is you pull it through and you lose a weight, but you still are able to retrieve your leader and your peg float and your hook. Uh, some cases in a fast moving river or whatever I fish I don't tend to use a peg float because it usually ends up pulling my weight up off the bottom if I don't have a heavy enough weight but you have to play around with your uh, body of water to figure out work, what works best for you but that's basically what I do and uh like I say, if you have any questions, just leave them below, and uh, I can't tell you how much it means to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all y'all, and heck, we're over 300 now, and that's pretty dang awesome, but I couldn't do it without y'all, so thanks.